Ethereum is under $1,000, Bitcoin's under $20,000, and things seem to be getting worse before they get better. I'm not just here to point fingers at the negative, I'm also here to show some positive that's been happening in the last couple of days that you may have missed, and something that I have mentioned on this channel before. As you probably know by the thumb and title, it got to do with ENS domain. Jump into my screen, here's a Twitter post by Vitalik, the creator of Ethereum in 2020, praising ENS continues to be very valuable and important to the infrastructure. Ethereum infrastructure. Fantastic. Another one in 2021. This is when he only had a couple of people being able to respond. And he's replied, what are some obvious applications of crypto that people just don't get yet? He said the ENS ecosystem and the whole concept of users and objects having cross-platform name. Which this is huge coming from the creator of Vitalik saying basically ENS is undervalued in September 2021 last year. Since then, there's been heaps and heaps of ups and downs with ENS. This website's called ENS Vision. There's so many different clubs that have popped up. There's so many different things, such as if we jump into the top last sales, as ENS domains need to be three digits, 003 is basically an extreme premium, and it sold for an extreme premium price at 83 ETH. You might think this would have happened during the bull run, February, March, maybe April, especially because ENS is has got to do with the adoption of ETH, especially when Ethereum is on the down and down getting to $1,000. You wouldn't think that this would lead to one of the top sales ever of ENS, but you would be wrong. Four days ago, 003 was purchased for 83 Ethereum. It kind of shocked me due to the use case and the consumer's market's position on crypto at the moment when this is basically all about Ethereum adoption and the market's all about non-Ethereum adoption at the moment. We'll see where it goes. I'm going to jump in here. Sam.eth first name is very, very valuable. I, my mum even said to me the other day, I'm really glad I got my first name, last name email. And I was like, huh, that's funny. That's why these go for so much because even then, I remember I got Tristan5 on Snapchat and I was amazed that I got Tristan than five on Snapchat. And these are sort of the same crazes. Obviously, it's worth a lot more money. But Sam.eth sold for 100 ETH just yesterday. And five days ago, it sold for 20 ETH. So this is a crazy jump. Even two years ago, the adoption, that would have been on the first tweet. But if you come in here, there's heaps and heaps of things. You can see the 10K club. So just numbers up to 10K, three letters, English nouns. I'm always shocked by some of these. Viability, 0.5. And it's also crazy when we actually jump over to the activity log. You can see this little kick here was, and also the sales kick. We had a crazy run here. This is when all the numbers happened, then dropped off. And then we've got another run happening here, which is kind of cool because whenever one part of any of this ecosystem can run, the rest can follow suit, which I do enjoy. At the moment, Soul NFTs are doing a little bit of a run as well, which is quite cool, especially where we're at in uh, crypto. You can see, obviously, stupid cheap, some of these. But if we go to the... I'll scroll until I find... Brora, 9673, an hour ago. It's kind of crazy the amount of uh, scope this has. You've even got Arabic numbers doing numbers, that, crazy numbers at the moment. You've got pronouns, you've got verbs, uh, business names, uh, white, big, big business names, country names, cities. I think St. Petersburg sold for a large amount. And it's kind of very, very cool. It's something that I'm enjoying looking at, especially in this climate, as I have already said. If we scroll through this bid spot, just something to show us like where the, where the demand is, You've got POV.eth at 3, ETH bid, Daniel, Brown.eth 3.5, Williams 3, so surnames, because there's such thing as subdomain, so you, I could have, uh, you can, if you're, you've got the .eth of Smith, you could sell the cam.smith.eth to someone whose last name is Smith, the first name Cam, for example, instead of them having to go through Cam Smith 28 as we all do with emails, which is kind of cool. Uh, these are some of the bids. JP Morgan's got a bit of five. Fidelity. Um, Krillin, I don't know what Krillin is. 15. Well, Jesus, obviously. Jew had a, has a new bid of 30. Super, super high. I wonder if this is going to sell. Can't press 420. Uh, yeah, you can see it's got a bit of 30. Uh, the other cool thing is a lot of these are in dead wallets, which is quite interesting. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. What this is, isn't to say, whoa, look what you looked out on. This is more so just saying, keep your eye out. There, Even though everything's so negative, there are positives, such as first names here. We've gone on a massive run. Actually, search it here for categories, male first names. You can see the floor is 0 0.3 here. And tell me if you know anyone by the name, any of these names. If we go to the, we've got Garrett is probably the first mainstream name up there. Craig with it. K, but like Joseph, these are all super expensive. I know I looked up my name, obviously, as everyone probably has. It's super expensive, not worth it. 
Um, but it's cool. If you have any ENS names, let me know what they are in the comments. I will be reading this because super interested. Uh, I have a few, nothing crazy, unfortunately. I have some Pokemon ones which are which did start to take off, and then the whole crash happened, and so I got stuck. Not holding the bag; they were basically free. Oh, that's the other thing I wanted to show you. Actually, is the sheer cost of registering uh, at least a five-digit more is so cheap. You can see here this person registered ten ENS domain names for a total of thirty-eight dollars. That's zero point zero two in Ethereum for the actual domains, and then gas was only zero point zero two as well. So that's a total of thirty-eight dollars to register ten of them, and obviously not all of these going to be worth any money some of them can be and it's cool to see this is, you can purely go from ten dollars up to a hundred eth with ens domains right now maybe not i'm going to be looking at other um other blockchains there is dot sol i know there's dot av i don't think they're going to be anywhere near as lucrative maybe if you can get some really 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 good banging names they're going to be good i will take a look i'm not buying them but this is just something very cool that's happening in our world at the moment that some people are, or probably a lot of people are missing something that's widely accepted especially by the heavy hitters such as vitalik and very cool anyway let me know what you have in the comments and i'll see you in the next one